This legislative session is down to just a few days. The time to make change is running out for some and finally arrived for others. It's about time. I think it brings fairness and in that fairness it brings hope that people can get justice, that people can seek care for what happened to them. Ana Martinez is the co-director of client services at Blue Bench, an organization that creates space for sexual assault survivors. This week she's educating them on a new law that will change the way sexual assault court cases play out. On Wednesday, Lieutenant Governor Diane Primavera, the current acting governor, signed HB 1072 into law. It will prohibit a defendant from using things like how a sexual assault victim dressed or their sexual history as proof of consent. Up until now, it was allowed. Oh, 100% it's still happening. Martinez and other supporters hope it'll encourage more survivors to come forward by preventing them from being interrogated with irrelevant or degrading information. I do think that that is a concern a lot of survivors bring in when they're considering whether or not to report a case. They're like, well, I don't want to be dragged. I don't want to be misunderstood. So knowing that that won't be something they have to carry on top of this already potentially re-traumatizing experience, I think will empower some people and we hope people feel more empowered to seek justice. Martinez says more needs to be done to reduce the stigma of sexual assaults. But changes like this help her believe they will get there with time. I'm glad we're catching up. Jalisa Rosari, 9 News. Now, this law expands on the existing rape shield law that stops certain pieces of a victim's information from being used as evidence in court. These changes take effect July 1st.